At his funeral everyone cried, but a few hours later they found out the coffin was the conditions of life in our time, had become very difficult for the poor. They suffer from poverty which may push them to take the wrong path, but it is the easiest way to get money such as drug dealing, robbery, murdery, etc. There are some people who do illegal things just to get money. There is one of those poor people who was forced by life circumstances to become a criminal person whose name was Carlos. Carlos is a man married to a woman named Maria. He has five children. He works as a taxi driver. His wife Maria was a maid in a hotel. Their life, though not luxurious, was rather happy. Carlos in those days noticed that his family's expenses had increased and that they needed a lot of money for schools, universities, food and all of that. He doesn't have enough money for anything. He doesn't know what to do. He that night was very suffocated and took a taxi and walked. Something in that night happened that turned everything upside down and a man got into his car. He was extremely touching during the ride. Carlos doesn't always talk much to the riders, but this time there was a long talk. The man talked to him a lot. As he said to him, you're obviously a very good man. Do you have any children? Tell me a little about yourself. Carlos was very surprised by that man, but he was suffocated and spoke to him saying, I'm married and I have five children. In those days my financial conditions are not stable at all. My children need money for their studies on the one hand, and on the other hand I need to pay off my debts. I don't know what to do in this cruel world. The money I earn is not enough for anything. Life has become too harsh for someone like me. I'm even contemplating suicide. I don't know what to do. The man said to him, I have a solution for you, but you must listen to me. Well Carlos was very surprised by that strange man, but he listened to him. The man said to him, you will be my right hand man who helps me in my work. I have a very good job for you. The job will allow you to have a lot of money. Carlos replied, thank you very much for giving me a job, but what exactly is the job? The man said, my name is Mark. I work in the drug trade. I help people like you who need money. The job is that you will help me and take new goods from me and give it to people and they will give you money and you will bring it to me and I will give you a lot of it. What do you think? Carlos was silent a lot and did not say anything because he was very hesitant. Mark played professionally with Carlos' feelings and he talked to him and knew his weaknesses and focused on it, saying to him, if you agree to work with me, your life will be completely transformed. You will have an account in the bank, you will be able to fulfill all the desires of your children. You will be able to pay all your debts. You will be a very rich man think well. When Carlos found out how much he could earn, his eyes lit up with joy. Carlos is very hesitant and said to him, I don't know what to do, but the only thing I know is that I am in dire straits and I have no money. I need some money. In those days I agree to work with you, but I will work with you for a month just to be able to buy my children what they want. Mark said to him, well done. I'll give you my home address. Come to me in the morning so I can show you the new business. Early in the morning Carlos woke up and his wife wondered that he had woken up so early and said to him, you can't sleep a little. Why are you going now? It's too early. He said to her, I want to take the day from the beginning so that many people can write in the day. Of course he lies. He went to him and Mark said to him, welcome, I knew you would come. The important thing now is that I will teach you exactly what you're going to do. First, you must focus carefully on what you are going to do, because it is dangerous. Second, you must listen carefully to whatever I say to you. Third, and finally I will give you a lot of money after you have done all the tasks that I will ask of you. Carlos said to him, okay, let's do it. I'm so excited, and I trust you so much. Mark explained everything to Carlos. He also gave him the goods that he would take to the people. Carlos was very scared at first, but Mark made it clear to him that he would be safe if he listened to his instructions. Carlos took the goods and put them in a suitcase. He went to the address Mark gave him. He got there and took the bag with the goods and gave it to someone and that person gave him another bag full of money. Mark is very happy that he was able to successfully implement the first plan. He returned to Mark carrying the bag with the money. Carlos said to Mark, 
here I come, I have the bag, and it has a lot of money. Mark took that briefcase, opened it, gave Carlos a lot of money and said to him, congratulations, you are able to implement the first plan. Carlos is very happy that he has the money and will buy everything for his children and will pay off his debts. The next day on Christmas Day, Carlos decided to bring gifts for his five children. He bought them too many clothes and gifts. His wife marveled at this, telling him, where did you get the money to buy all of this? And we can't afford that. His face turned red and he told her, I had a very good month and the clients were very generous with me and they gave me a lot of money. Plus I get up early in the morning and work early. His wife doubts him a lot, but she doesn't know what to do. The next day Carlos went to Mark and Mark asked him to implement a second plan. And indeed he did. He returned to Mark to ask him for money. But the big surprise happened. The quarrel that will lead to the dilemma occurred. Mark said to him sarcastically, I first gave you money just to lure you into doing two plans. I film you doing that crime. I have a video of you delivering drugs to that person. If you don't listen to my instructions, I will go to the police and give them that video. You'll be imprisoned immediately, you idiot. Carlos is very shocked by what happened. He gets very angry and quarrels with Mark and takes the knife in the kitchen and kills Mark. Carlos does not know what to do in that crime. He thought a lot and found a solution. He'll pretend that he died in an accident so that he can escape from prison for killing Mark. There was an accident on the road and the police came immediately and Carlos was taken and Carlos agreed with the doctor that he would tell them that he was dead. The police came to the door of the family apartment informing them that Carlos had left the world for Maria, their children and their grandchildren. It was like a bolt from the blue. They held a funeral for him and everyone was crying and it was very sensitive and difficult. But after they buried him and left, he moved out of the coffin and fled. Immediately some strange things began to happen with Carlos' family. Some people they didn't know come in odd hours and ask about Carlos and what he was doing. They asked him about if he was a businessman. One day Maria laughed at them and through her tears saying to them, if my husband worked in the business, we should have been rich. But how is that when we are here? Eight people living in a small apartment with only two rooms. Suddenly someone knocked on the door of the family. When they opened it, there was no one there, but there was a large bag. There was lots of money inside. There was also a letter. I'm sorry for everything. I hope this helps a little. I love you very much. I'm Carlos. When Maria saw that, she would cry. But she was also angry. She was afraid what her husband had gotten himself into. She began to doubt whether she knew the man she had woken up next to for more than 30 years. I admit that I was guilty, but I was forced to do that. Please forgive me. I love you all. The family of the dead man decided to keep this unusual gift a secret. They knew that this information caused them a lot of trouble. They were shocked a lot when they went to his grave and found the coffin empty. In fact, Carlos committed suicide after he sent that letter and their real body was found in front of the house. It's a horrible sight and a very horrible thing. It's a tragic ending. Man must never follow the wrong path because it will lead to his own destruction. Man must strive to work and never give up. Man must be very patient. Man must not be tempted by appearances only. Man must know that money and greed can lead lead to its doom. The wrong path is easy, but it ends in tragic and bleak.